Hey Leo, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Happy Friday to you guys. This is your general tarot reading for the end of February going into March of 2023. We're going to take a look and see what is coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Um, of course, if you enjoy these readings, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. So you could be a Leo or you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Please do take a resonance and leave the rest. All right, let's take a look. Messages for Leo. If you are interested in a personalized tower reading, I do have a sale going on for the next week on my Etsy shop. Whether you're interested in per uh, purchasing a reading or one of my decks, I have spiritual jewelry, my printables, cheat sheets, all that. Um, so let's take a look, okay? Messages for my Leos out there. What do you need to know and love? We're going to start off with the biggest challenge you could be facing, okay? All right, Leo, we have the Hermit. So you could be definitely dealing with a Virgo. There is something here about taking a break, maybe even removing yourself from um, society, you know, not really engaging in too much communication. There is something here about just being alone in solitude. You could be spending a lot of time in this deep reflective energy, thinking about life, thinking about your relationships. Uh, there could be some kind of hidden knowledge, something that comes to you where you're finally becoming aware of something. And it feels like this is after a period of time of going within, going deep within, soul searching, doing some recovery, okay, working on yourself, doing that inner work. There's something that could be revealed to you or coming to your awareness, okay? So let's see. In a recent past, my Leo, we have the tower in reverse, the star in reverse, and the ten of wands. So in the past, something here happened and it feels very heavy. The tower could be destruction, chaos, drama, maybe something came to an end. Something regarding your hopes and dreams and wishes. So it's almost like you had manifested something, you, you believed in something, you had high hopes, dreams that something was going to work out. You were very optimistic about it. And it feels like there was a big fat letdown, okay? Something has left you feeling quite hurt, burdened, okay? The Ten of Wands could be any of that, you know? So there's something you had to let go. There's an ending of some situation, tens or endings in tarot, but with the tower, it may have hit hard, right? You know, the tower could be something that just, you didn't see coming. You weren't prepared for this. It could have been very traumatic and dramatic, okay? So we got Aquarius energy and we got Scorpio. Now the current energy here, we have the Three Cups in reverse, we have the strength, Leo energy, and the devil, Capricorn energy. So there could be definitely someone that you're holding on to. Maybe they put you in a third party situation. Maybe there was like some kind of decision that had to be made regarding you or them, right? Or or even like your person making a decision between someone else and you, okay? There could be something like that, some kind of dynamic here. Now with the strength card, Leo, you're, in, you're definitely involved. That's your energy. So it makes me feel like the devil could be literally something toxic in nature although it doesn't have to be it could be also the energy of codependence holding on to something that isn't worth holding on to or isn't for your divine good isn't for your highest and greatest good so this could be you overcoming an addiction and overcoming some kind of compulsive behavior idea self-limiting thought belief but i think the biggest thing in the three of cups is really standing out to me there could have been some kind of interference by other people Third party could be family, friends, coworkers, okay? But again, you could have also found yourself in a third party situation that you didn't want to be in. And so for some of you, it's almost like you said, it's okay, I'm going to I'm gonna stick with this, okay, with the strength card. You didn't want to give up on a person or a particular situation that quickly, but you may have felt you had to with the devil because something wasn't worth holding on to. Now, let's see what's happening external. We have a card that flipped over. I'm going to go ahead and take it. We have the Knight of Wands fiery energy there you are we have the page of cups in reverse we have the three of pentacles and how this person sees moving forward nine of cups so yeah i think that there's someone in your energy someone that you're connected to very much so leo who definitely wants to rebuild this three of pentacles for me is like let's collaborate let's work out our differences let's come together let's partner up let's work as a team let's rebuild this right weaving it back together and so there could be an energy of your person wanting forgiveness with the page of cups wanting to say i'm sorry i, I care about you that's not what i meant that's not what i wanted to do page of cups could be some kind of 
desire to express how they really feel, heartfelt feelings and emotions and attempt to rebuild this connection. So you could be experiencing that. You could be experiencing someone coming in. You may be going toward them, Leo, with passion, with excitement towards something. And they could be definitely, um, you know, giving you that opportunity for you guys to like rebuild. Nine of Cups in the verse suggesting that this is someone that could be really, really emotional, but maybe not really expressing it because they're really unfulfilled. They're not happy where they are. I definitely feel like there's some kind of dream and hope that they had as well regarding you and them. Maybe it was a little bit selfish, right? Maybe there was some kind of selfish energy here, especially with the Three of Cups. But at the end of the day, there is an energy here of feeling like unfulfilled, not happy, really even disappointed and emotionally really um, upset about a situation here between you and them. So if you guys have been on break because of this ending, because of the hermit, yeah, I definitely feel like they could be upset about that. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So I really feel like coming in, there is a situation here where you both really want to talk about something. You both really want to express your feelings. And there could be some like feeling of like, well, wait, maybe my person won't allow me to. Maybe they won't really be open to this. There, there are some major concerns here, okay, about... The other person maybe, you know, pushing the other person away. Five of Pentacles in verse makes you feel like you both miss each other's presence, miss each other very much. But there's something here where it's like, well, I don't want to be the first person to take action. So let's take a look and see where things can go. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups definitely makes me feel like there's an opportunity for you guys to like express love and communicate. But who's, who's going to make that first step, right? Five of Pentacles. You both want to get out of the cold. You both are feeling its place of lack. So let's take a look. I wouldn't be surprised if, Leo, you're the first one to take action because the Knight of Wands. It's almost like they're waiting for you to take action. I don't know. Maybe you're more of like the dominant person in the, in the relationship or connection. All right, give me the Hermit. Let's see what the Hermit's all about. Crossing that is the Five of Wands. So... Yeah, I think the hermit is telling me that, you know, you both may have needed to like go your separate ways because there may have gotten to a point where there was just a lot of conflict, a lot of butting of heads, five of wands, not seeing eye to eye. Someone could have been very, very stubborn and feeling like someone was just making things very difficult. And so the hermit could be like, I need a moment. I need a break. I need to think about this. Maybe even have an opportunity to look at myself differently. Give me the recent past, 10 of wands and tower. Ace of Cups in the verse, the Six of Swords, and the Two Pentacles in the verse. So this Two of Pentacles could definitely suggest that there was some going back and forth. Someone here may have been very unsure about what they wanted, very inconsistent. It does feel like there could have been some juggling going on as well. And, you know, it may have led to this falling out, Ace of Cups in the verse, where at one point you guys were like so loving, you know, so deeply in love. There's emotions, there's feelings here. But it does feel like there was a falling out because someone may have felt like you aren't making me the priority. The star, this isn't what I envisioned. I expected more, right? And the tower could be something sudden, very dramatic, something that came out. Um, it could have been an exposure of something here as well. And with the Six of Swords, there's an energy of like someone wanting to resolve it or maybe like, you know, I want to resolve this, but maybe it was too late. It feels like something here was too damaging or too difficult and, you know, it resulted in a missed opportunity. Give me the energy of the Six of Swords. Yeah, Tower. Tower came out twice. So even if someone wanted to resolve this situation in the past, it just feels like whatever that Tower moment was, it was too much. It was too difficult something happened and it was just the damage was too deep okay so at the time it was not easy for you guys to move away from, from this conflict it wasn't easy for you guys to like reconcile and resolve it with each other so that's why the breakup happened it also feels like someone was avoiding doing the work okay avoiding something there was some kind of avoidism now give me the energy right now three cups the strength the devil we have the Temperance in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So I would definitely say that there is a situation here where, you know, you're going to have to let things play out the way that it supposed to play out because a temperance could be a need to be patient and you know do things in moderation don't jump the gun here don't like jump to conclusions the eight of cups in the verse is suggesting that someone is going to return right but they could be difficult right now the strength maybe they're holding back maybe they're resisting 
But the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Three of Pentacles could be also your person reluctant to come back, okay? Or you reluctant to come back because you feel like there are some big, big key differences in how you perceive life, your values, your beliefs. And maybe there is a situation here where you guys just don't agree. And it could be regarding other people, Three of Cups, interference, third party, okay? But I feel like at the end of the day, the temperance is like, be patient with this, right? Maybe someone isn't ready to make the decision right away, but there is still an energy of holding on to something here. Let's take a look. Why is the Page of Cups here? Someone could definitely be wanting your forgiveness. Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and a Strength in Reverse. Someone could definitely be wanting your forgiveness or wanting to apologize for all the conflict, for being difficult, right? For making something just very... um. Uh, difficult difficult overall five of swords could just be lies it could just be overall conflict being um argumentative right um and so there's the energy of the six of pentacles as well someone recognizing that maybe i didn't do everything i should have done maybe i didn't really reciprocate i wasn't there for you i didn't make you my priority the strength is that they gave up without even trying right so there's an energy of like i really should apologize to leo for that um i wasn't there's the bigger person here. I wasn't being the strong person that Leo needed me to be. So there's an energy Leo. And they may see you also as turning your back on them because they weren't able to make you the priority or give you, again, all of them. So three of pentacles, I'm definitely wanting to bridge the gap and come together, partner up. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Recognizing and seeing value in the connection and even seeing value in you. Four of Pentacles is like, I want to hold on to this. I want to actually see what we can do. Coming together, uh, creating, collaborating, working together. Four of Pentacles is like, this is worth holding on to. So someone definitely recognize that. Give me the Knight of Wands. It almost makes me feel like you guys having to take the action. Seven of Wands. You, Leo, would have to take action first. And the reason why is because of Seven of Wands. They may see you as being very, very guarded, very protective, right? You may certainly push them away with the Seven of Wands. It's a very, very protective, guarded energy. So, you know, there's something here where you may be not making it very easy for this person to come in, which is why it makes you feel like if you want something to move forward, you'd be, you have to be the person to take the first action, Nine of Cups in the verse, they're not happy, um, and so they're wanting to change it, you know? I'm unfulfilled, I'm deeply unhappy, this isn't what I envisioned for my love life to look like, and so the magician, I'm going to manifest this. I'm going to create an opportunity where we can finally make this happen and come together. So there's big, big change on the horizon because your person still believes that there is an opportunity here. As far as the outcome, Five of Pentacles, you both want to get out of the cold, right? That's obvious. The Justice and the Ace of Pentacles, quite nice. I mean, there's the energy of making something right, bringing fairness, bringing balance, reciprocity, right? And so it does feel like you guys will be um, coming back together. There's an energy of reconciliation with the Justice card, Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, a new beginning, something more solid, something more long lasting. It's very stable and grounded. It's consistent. It's reliable. So you can trust this. Um, what's coming in is quite beautiful. I think that there's an opportunity for you guys to make it right. The biggest thing is like getting out of this place where you are right now, right? And, and allowing you both to communicate and speak your mind, be intentional, say what you want with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Also express your love, your feelings, your deep emotions, and it can be very heartfelt and genuine. So that is what I'm seeing. Leo, beautiful opportunities for you guys to reconnect and make something right. Bringing balance, justice, harmony back to the connection with this Libra energy here. So I hope you all have a uh, beautiful weekend ahead and um, I'll see you guys. I'll check you guys out later. Take care. Bye.